Hello, welcome back to a daily run. Samson. I haven't done a daily in a while. I'm playing a lot of Darkest Dungeon, uh, which everyone seems to have uh, taken well to. I'm, a, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to continue to play it as much as I can stand, which seems to be quite a lot. Uh, try and do as many of those as I want. Iron Bar is a nice, nice uh, upgrade here. It looks like we're only going as far as the mom fight, so we've got to go fast. We're going to have to go fast. We should go fast. We need to do boss rush. We need to find a way through the mom fight and out the other side. Uh, that thing has turned into a fiery one, which does not make me happy. And it's also going to pop into a splash of tears because of the colour. Mom fight, boss rush, some way through. We're probably going to be looking to take deals with the devil. I'd very much like a bomb, actually, right, right now. Uh, but we are in a basement, so there's a good chance of getting through this without getting hit. It's not XL floor. No. Um, Samson is the one where, as you take damage, you do more damage. I'm hoping... Oh, I didn't. I was hoping to get this as well as that, but never mind. Uh, there's more bombs here, so we will probably trade a bomb for a key, because we're going to want um, to get to the item room on the next floor, and I thought I'd blow up this bomb for this bomb, because there could have been a crawl space in those rocks. You never know when you're going to find that you should have taken a hit, right? I will actually spend this bomb to get these keys and these spirit hearts. This will really set us up well for not getting hit on the next floor and uh, ruining our deal with the devil. Uh, and I'm going to try not to get hit on this floor and ruin next floor's deal with the devil. I feel like we're more strong than I would expect to be uh, at this stage, uh, Samson. Although, we did get the iron bar, which is a, a damage upgrade as well as the concussive effect. So, I suppose I can just put it all down to that. Oh, yeah. You need to destroy this head before it turns into a spider because it basically spawns a spider with full hit points, which seems to be more fucking hit points than a head had. There we go. Really hate Ragman. Not a difficult fight. It's easy to stay at range and just sort of keep shooting the motherfucker. Apart from when it does things like that. But when it's the first floor, and he has those accelerating shots, which is just a douche move in my opinion. But if you can't get rid of the head, which appears to be super accelerated today, uh, before it spawns a spider, that was very lucky that that didn't hit me, you've got a lot more trouble. Uh, growth hormones, great item, speed and damage. It's a speed upgrade anyway, which means we're going to go a little bit faster between floors and we're going to do a little bit more damage between rooms. So, well, we're not going to go faster between floors. That, uh, that transitional thing doesn't take any time in terms of game time and always takes the same amount of time, i.e. as fast as you can press the spacebar. So we did get hit once on the uh, Ragman fight, which would have probably helped. Actually, taking that hit is probably the reason why we could suddenly kill the heads. I'll take this and I'll take this. Unicorn Stump is an interesting one because it doesn't do any good unless you have some way of doing damage that is not your tears. Uh, usually that manifests as an orbital of some description. So we're hoping to fight uh, one of the horsemen in order to get a cube of meat or a ball of bandages or to get sacrificial dagger from a deal with the devil. I think that's really it. The other thing you could possibly do is maybe save up a more of the void charge and then whack your um, whack your unicorn stump just after you enter a room and then run around using the more of the void ring to do as much damage as you can but honestly I don't think that's very worthwhile really we want an orbital and there are not too many of those one of them will come from this fight here well not from this fight but from the consequence of this fight which will be a deal with the devil and Dingo has a lot of HP early on well he has a lot of HP all the time but compared to the amount of damage they're doing in the early game this case a little bit longer than I'm happy with. Didn't get hit though, that's good. We've got Magic Mush, which is an outstanding item. Uh, and Nine Lives means we should have taken Magic Mush first. Eh, it's not a big deal, obviously. It sets you back down to 1 HP, so Magic Mush would have had us on 2 HP right now. But I kind of don't care. We're quite fast now, so I'm going to explore some more of the floor. But uh, I think I'm going to sort of... Oh, shit. Oh, going to leave here at maybe... 
like in 15 seconds, 30 seconds. I want to get down out of here way before the six minute mark because basically deal with the, uh, deal with the devil. Boss rush is our only opportunity here to do even remotely well. I'll open this because there's a bomb in the previous room. And it's an arcade, which would have been good to know. But we get our HP anyway, so that's fine. I will pop this a little bit. Oh, that's a nickel. Give it back. I can't have it. It won't let me have the nickel. All right, we're going to get this. Look, this isn't the ideal amount of min-maxing I'd like to do, and I did accidentally spend some of my spirit heart doing that. But I'm going to run back down here. Definitely going to be out here by six minutes, but I think this will... I think that's a wooden nickel that we dropped there. So... I tried to pick it up and it wouldn't let me, because that's how wooden nickels work. That would have been a good time to use Unicorn Stump. Thanks to everybody who said that, but not quickly enough for me to have actually got the memo. Uh, when you're not using Unicorn Stump on a regular basis, you're not thinking in terms of Unicorn Stump, and that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I'm glad I came down here, because there is a room that is very worthwhile doing on a daily. Because it gives you a lot of points. Why else? Although, it's going to slow us down more than I was hoping for. We can make up time on the next floor or so, I think. It's not the end of the world, although Monstro did take all year to die just now. The uh, hollows here shouldn't take much time at all, though, as long as I can actually land some shots. With this uh, negative snake that they're playing. Thank you. And there's some points and there's a coin. Do I want to go to the shop? Kind of, maybe? I think it's worth popping our head in. We've got enough keys. I'm going to take this and this. It's too close. Two of clubs. Kind of want that. Can't have it. <laughs> Screw it then. We'll go down to the next floor and see what we win. We could have min max slightly, but A, I didn't know about it, and B, I'm not really here for that. We do have a bomb. We don't need to use the bomb. That's why you always open them things first. Could be, could be uh, troll bombs in them, which is usually a well, a troll. But I think we'll come back to that when we've got a, when we've found the item room and we know whether we can waste all of our well, spend, I suppose, invest our keys, four of them. It only takes one to do the room for the points, which actually now I think about it is probably more worth it than it would be to. You know, just open them for the contents of the chest. We want to do the room to get the points for the room. We've got two hearts, which will help on a, a sort of a random blood bank, I guess. But... Careful there. We're very fast, so it looks like we can run away from uh, well-aimed shots, which is good because, uh... <laughs> well, they're well-aimed. I want to be able to run away from them. Being able to, being able to run away from bullets uh, is my superpower. Oh, there's more, are there? You dopey then. IV bag is um, a very strong item as Samson. So I would probably have preferred to have played that blood bank more than I did. Uh, it could have given us either the IV bag, or if failing that, it could have given us a health upgrade to make up for what we spent on the devil. That's okay, it's not like we're hurting. We've got plenty of spirit hearts and we're very strong. The IV bag allows us to take damage that doesn't count against us for the damage penalty, but that does count for doing damage for the rest of the floor. Uh, I guess we don't know what it is, so we'll take it. That's pretty shit, so we'll put it back. Still holding out for this um, orbital. Caves one. Oh yeah, it's Curse of the Blind, so it's not going to be an XL floor. That was a very ballsy dodge, but it paid off. Whoop. Yeah, fucking try it. Infinite bombs is definitely going to help. I can't get in there, which is definitely not going to help. What can we use our infinite bombs for? We should certainly find a secret room with it, or at least try to. We should probably throw them down everywhere we can to try and get things to... There's a fucking spirit heart in a random fire. That's really nice. Good, there's our key. We'll go to the shop. Yes. Because we have 23 cents. Why wouldn't we go to the shop? It's going to contain an unknown item. Which is the item, the nun's habit, the habit. I don't want to buy the spirit heart, really. The habit is a, a decent item, maybe not so much with uh, the item that we have, which we haven't used yet, but that's more for lack of opportunity than, than because it's a bad item. It's an item that will, in the future, 
become better. Oh no, I don't want this. Give me this back. Thank you. As noted, you really need an orbital to make it work, but once you have an orbital, you can start steamrolling rooms. Not quite to the extent that Tammy's Head Brimstone can steamroll rooms, but to some very good extent, you just run around in your invincible phase, and fuck, ah, thought I could do it, but I was too lazy not to try, so laziness uh, sometimes pays off, sometimes doesn't. Hello? Thank you. Well, we're going uh, reasonably quickly on this floor, thanks no, in no small part to the amount of damage we're suddenly doing, which has just improved because we stood on those spikes. Probably not worth the HP that we spent. Where the heck is the main secret room? Don't get caught here. That'd be terrible. Uh, pills. Do we take them? Yes, because I have never learned. Two of these. lemon par Three lemon parties and an addicted. That doesn't really matter. I'm going to take lemon party because it's good against bosses that are on the ground. Like Gertie, for example. Who I always take damage against. Even though it's trivial not to. But we got through that so fast. There was no way we were going to take damage. And we won uh, a luck upgrade with some more keys associated with it. And a Krampus fight, which everybody is happy to receive. Just don't do the fucking brimstone thing and we'll all be happy. Look. Pretty sure we just spoke about this. It's ahead of Krampus. Look. I really want to make this unicorn stump work, although I'm kind of a little bit tired of picking things up and putting them down again. We'll just leave. Maybe, uh, oh, this one. So here we go. This is a, this is a good start. We're not taking any damage from this. We've got the IV bag, which I'm probably going to stick with. It works both in terms of being Samson for the damage upgrade and in terms of daily because it gives us consumables, which counts towards our score at the end. So now we're a little bit stronger, and I think you get six and a half plays worth of damage. So you play it six and a half times, and that's the Im okay. You play it seven times, but the last time you played it only gave you half as much damage as all the other ones. Basically, six and a half plays worth. Also, it allows us to get into this boss trap room, which is a good idea. No, thank you. Thank you for blowing Chub up slightly. Not in the uh, inflation sense, but in the explosion sense. This is the only real way we want to blow Chubb up, because Chubb hates smoke. Please stop making things. The two shot in nose. Whenever we pick up red HP, we can just turn it into money. We've got plenty of spirit hearts to make that work. And I think that as long as we keep the two HP that we do have, even as we get to the woman beyond where it will cost a full HP to do each each play of the the IV bag. Uh, we can keep ourselves in permanent Polaroid invincibility state. Well, I say when we get to. We are going to the mom fight. We're hoping to get beyond it. But there's no guarantee that we shall. There we go. So that's money. And damage. Yoink. Yoink. Now, <laughs> the nuns have it, or the habit, converts damage into charges on your spacebar item. But our spacebar item doesn't actually have any charges now that we've replaced well, that was very lucky dodge. Uh, now that we replaced the one we did have, the unicorn stump with the IV bag, we don't really have any reason to have the habit. But we may replace the IV bag later when we think that we're doing enough damage to not require it and something better comes along. Which is not unlikely. We'll go in here. Just, uh, do you know what you can do? You can scum that up a little bit. So I'm going to find some HP. There's some. Only one, one more half a heart. Kind of like the the flies, actually, but I'm gonna hold off. Nope. No, it's another half a heart in here. Let's go and get it. Quite quick, so I'm not too concerned about how much time we're spending doing this. But uh, we are only on, I think, Catacombs Two, Caves Two, yeah. So what we did here, when you use the IV bag, you still gain the invincibility from taking the damage. But the damage comes from your red heart. You can run through the cursed room's door and only take the essentially free red heart damage instead of the costly spirit heart damage. So that was pretty good. And we got four spirit hearts from that scumming up. I don't think it is quite scumming up. It may have been scumming up if we went to an extreme extent to get the the HP in the first place, but we didn't. It was pretty well just lying around. Uh, no. Should we spend money on bombs? I think bombs. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. This is really good. Oh, I was quite excited. Uh, I think the most excited I've ever been about a, a passive upgrade for some time. Money equals damage can give you up to four eight, four extra damage. For some reason I thought that was going to be a secret room. Maybe this? No. Okay, okay then. Um, up to four extra damage when you hit. Na oh, 99 cents. As we use the IV bag, we will gain more money, and as we gain more money, we will do more damage, and of course we're doing more damage. Oh, it's true, that's a lot of money. We're doing more damage anyway, because every time we use the IV bag, Samson uh, damages up, as it were. So we've got a, a pretty decent thing going on for us. Where is my deal with the devil? You fucking son of a bitch. I don't want to take that. I would like to take that, because it gives us a better deal with the devil chance, but I'd like to have re-rolled it. Shh, don't tell. Let's take this. We'll uh, use this a couple of times while we still can. Let's, let's lemon party. These things are bound to walk into it. If they don't, something will. Something will spawn on it if I'm lucky. Yeah. Well, it got rid of one thing. Lemon party. One one thing's worth of lemon party just now, but that's fine. But I hate when these things are invisible but then become dizzy. Where have you gone, dude? Yeah. Oh, God. This room is a light ball lake, but I think we can make it through without complaining too much. Yeah, good. Good. I was hoping not to spawn any of these. Oh, a temperance card. That's basically an IV bag that can pay out with stuff for now, so. Like, it could give us a blood bag, which would give us an extra HP, which is quite valuable, but I'm going to keep hold of it until we've got said HP in order to play it, because... Whee! Good. Um, I don't want to use our spirit hearts on it. And it'll only take us a... It's not going to sort of cannibalize the IV bag plays. It's just going to replace them. It doesn't... It's no, it's no worse, if you see what I mean. These fucking things dragging me around. Look at that shit. They don't turn off, I expect, as well. Wow, I nearly walked into it, but somehow I avoided it. Yeah. So we'll get a couple more HP, play the Temperance card, get another, get another Blood Bank on the ground. Why was there a poop there? I didn't do it. Uh, see if we can get a Blood Bank. We don't have our... Um, we don't have... Yeah, perfect. Our Unicorn Stump anymore, unfortunately. So we can't... Oops. Didn't mean to play that, but... I suppose the damage is okay. I mean, the damage that we receive as a result, not the damage that it cost us to do it. But it's fine. I mean, HP right now is going straight into that thing. Uh, yeah, this will even further increase our payouts from the blood bank, and also, well, we've got a PhD now. We should take everything. Yeah, PhD heals us. I forgot about that. Let's just start thinking about getting a proper move on. Oh yes, perfect. So now. We have 3 HP rather than 2. We have the max damage bonus we can get from taking damage. Plus, I know we spent some money and I said that was a bad idea, but now every time we get hit, including using the IV bag, uh, we will get a little bit... Uh, excuse me, I took no damage. I'm okay with it. I'm just saying, excuse me, what? Uh, every time we play the IV bag, we will get that much more money because the piggy bank gives us money when we get take damage. So, I'm pretty sure that's going to pay for itself. I'm not really rolling this run for anybody. No, not even you. No, nor you. None of this is good enough. None of this is good enough. I accidentally put a coin in it. None of this is good enough. Come on. Before it actually explodes, and means I can't do any more. And we have to do boss rush, but we might as well take this. So we have to get out of here basically five minutes ago. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a tiny one. Didn't even see it. Right, fucking run. <laughs> what am I even doing here? Right, well, we're uh, going to have to speed through the next floor quite considerably quickly. I have no idea how to deal with this fight when he has literally covered the ground in creep. No bombs, so I can't get that. Range up is fine. Uh, I guess we take Spirit of the Night. Yeah, I think we do. Kind of puts a damper on our ability to use the blood bag, but not completely. Uh, the IV bag, sorry. 
had we not found said blood bag, uh, we definitely wouldn't have been able to take uh, any of that and still been able to use the IV bag. So we're back down to crappy damage again, but hoping it won't last too long. Fuck. Kind of concerned we won't even be able to get to boss rush now. I did dither a little bit. I guess we just uh, try and leg it through these rooms as fast as we can. Hope for the best. Every penny we pick up is going to make us go that little bit faster. Ah, this is the shop. But I'm also going to not pick up the pennies to go a little bit faster. Damn it, Shub, you are taking some fucking sweet time right here. I picked up the guillotine. I don't want it. Oh, well, I've got it. Don't care. You have 30 seconds to find and beat Mom. This is outrageous. Every time I forget how long it takes to get through these last couple of floors. Your head acts as an orbital in this situation, by the way, so it'd be super nice to have a uh, uh, thingy back. Um, the unicorn stump. I probably am not going to make boss for us because I can't find the mom fight, <laughs> which is horrible. Please. No, not this room. Yeah, just take the damage, it's fine. We're not going to do boss fucking brush in five minutes. Right, fine. We have missed boss rush again on the only time it matters whether you get boss rush, which is a mom fight. So we're going to either rank very badly or get very lucky to find a way past the mom fight that nobody else finds. Uh, ow. Never mind, we're just going to keep picking up all this money. Take the money and run. Take the money and run. Take yeah, we'll take the HP. It helps us because we can now use this way more. I'm going to blow this up because the money is valuable. Because money equals power. Uh, I completely got confused where my body was in that situation. And we did manage to go down every single wrong direction. I'm just uh, pointing out. Trying to find the mom fight really quickly was never going to fucking happen because I completely chose all three wrong directions to start out with. Let's see if there is something good in here. There is not. Hoping for maybe a five room so I could do the floor again. If I'd gone this way first, we would have been well in time. But I didn't. And I don't have a way down, so I guess that's GG. Uh, I walked into that because it's so difficult to know where your body is when you're taking the guillotine. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it. The body's a bit that takes damage, by the way. That's why it's a problem. I did get a deal with the devil, so it could be something worth taking. Ah! It's not. There's nothing we can do, so we will just finish. 17,000, probably quite low. 600, it's not bad. That means there's a lot of people that didn't uh, do boss rush as well, but with boss rush, that would have been, you know, up there in the 2100s, so... That was disappointing. Uh, once again, I had a very strong run and went far too slowly because I was min-maxing too much. Oh, oh, glabbing. Never mind. One day I will learn, but it is not this day. Maybe it is the next day when I will see you.